What's up, beauties? HelloBeautiful.com. We're in the building today, and we are joined firstly by Miss Kiara. What's up, Kiara? Hey, guys. What's up? Listen, Sham is out today. Yeah. We, we, we know Sham is seething um, um, and foaming at the mouth because she couldn't be yeah. near her because you know she talked about this. The but I took her time. place. But you did. Because I wanted to be here. I, listen. <laughs> yeah. She would, she's going to be upset because we're here with one of her favorite people who is now one of our favorite people. What's yes. up, Safari? What's going on, Damn, Safari? What's up, what's up? Yes, Co coconut oil god right here. <laughs> look, listen, yes. listen, for those of y'all watching to my right, she does look like a like an erotic Nubian black queen goddess. Oh, wow. I noticed that when I stepped away, I was like, damn, you got the whole, like, Queen of Africa theme Ooh. going on. Oh my so, God! See, this is why I'm a, this that. is this is why I'm a fan of you, and I've been a fan of Thank you, you. <laughs> since before. But <laughs> it's getting a little hot right now. I'm gonna let you go ahead and, and take that as I absorb hey, all I, that. I like I like your bracelet. Yeah. See, see, yeah. see, oh, see, see, I got I got a little love. Uh, <laughs> you got a little bit, but you know you can keep going this way. You know. Oh, anyway, yeah. here we go. So listen, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Safari is a brilliant rapper, mm -hmm. producer. Um, you might have seen him on. Season three of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, and you're in the middle of filming season four now, right? Season four yes. that's coming up right now. It's about to drop in a month. Okay. In a month. Yeah. How's it? Wait, so y'all still filming? Yeah, we still filming. We ah, got like another going? three, four months of production. It's a long process. People who watch it just know that you're seeing people and you think it's okay. We just show up dressed and that's it. Right. It's a lot of work. A lot goes into it. And are we gonna get more shots of your oiled chest this season? Oh, because oh. that, you know. Absolutely. That's important for the ladies. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a lot of that going on. And you know what I'm starting to realize? I'm like, anytime I do anything for VH1, they always ask me, can you just, can you just please don't wear a shirt? Oh, so it's a VH1 thing. Exactly. Oh, they're, yes. they're brilliant. Yes. yes. So they asked for the fur and yeah, both? Yes, because this is what happened. I went to an event with a fur coat with no shirt. Like, I just was feeling myself crazy <laughs> one day. And then when I went to go do my green screen test looks, it was like some, le blah, what's it called, leather jackets yeah. and some t-shirts. And they were like, yo, can he please do what he did at this red carpet? <laughs> and then I was like, nah, they trying to clown me out. I'm so glad I did it. Thank yeah. you, VH1. Yeah, thank, thank you, VH1. On yeah. behalf of everybody, like, thank you. Appreciate that. Because we need more oil chess infers yes. every day. So yes. thank you. Definitely. You're putting it on the map. You're going to start a trend. I know. We're just going to be I, seeing, like, mad dudes just walking uh, yeah, around uh, just you know, cocoa butter. A lot of people, yeah. they're definitely picking up on it because yeah. the coconut oil, it gives a different type of gloss. Baby oil is too, is just too harsh. The coconut mm. oil, especially on our color skin, mm. it just make everything look nice, right, and strong. Mm. <laughs> but what, where does cocoa butter fall into the family? Because you said coconut oil is good. Yep. Baby oil is too far. Where's cocoa Co butter? Cocoa butter, I don't use cocoa butter. I use coconut oil. Oh. Huge mm. difference. Yeah. So difference. while we're here, uh, you have your own line of coconut oil. I know yes, there was a I bit do. of a holdup, and I know the, our followers might want to know what that holdup was. Yeah. Pretty much, you know, I had a large batch of coconut oil and it was coming in from overseas and it was stuck on a boat through customs and I had to go through the world of paperwork and releases and a whole bunch of nonsense. And it's been there for like about five and a half months and wow. I finally, finally got the release. Woo! When Thank I'm you, Jesus. With him yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully I get some more good news sitting with you. Yeah. Listen, that's a good thing. That's Long a good thing. live melanin. So uh, it, it's clear that you are a businessman to and fro. Can you tell us a little bit about, because I know a lot of people know you in mm. the Nikki phase. Mm. I want to know, what were you doing before the Nikki stuff? Because clearly you have a business mind. You know, before that, um, I'm Jamaican. That's my whole upbringing. So Hustle. I had my first job at the age of 13. I was working in McDonald's with illegal working papers, and I held the job for two and a half years. Illegally? I, yes. My mom had a hookup. I don't know how she did it, but she got me working in there. Ah. Then um, that's black women for you. <laughs> yeah, make a way out of no Always way. A way yeah, out of no way. <laughs> I, was, I, I had a sneaker stores, women's shoe stores. Um, I, I ran a YMCA for years on Flatbush. I was like a um, guidance counselor. Ah. I ran the um, Junior Knicks program for the YMCA, and I ran the summer camp. I was the health coordinator for the whole summer camp. I ran like oh, wow. 250 kids every summer. Wow. And then I left that, and then I got my CDL. I started driving um, school buses. Then I started driving garbage trucks. Then I left garbage trucks, and then I started to drive the 18-wheelers. And then that was, like, my last, like, real job before I got into the music business before and the things started up. to work. Yeah. Wow. And your intro into 
the music business now. Was that the Hood Stars? Yeah, that was yeah. the group. That was okay. the group, the Hood Stars. That was like our little, you know, first time I was ever on the radio, High okay. 97 and all that. It was in that group thing, and then, you know, it didn't work out. Right. And then kept it pushing. Mm. Yeah. All right. So the Hood Stars ends, and uh, a lot of people don't know that that's like your background. Yeah, I didn't so, know uh, that. Yeah. Right. Something. You know, well, yeah. at least y'all got to bring that out of me, because yeah. a lot of people, they sit there and they talk to me about the same stupid shit right. all the time. Right. So run up under your mother if you interview me and ask me the same shit again, okay? Thank you. But we're all I'm glad we don't have to run up direction. under our mother. I don't <laughs> want to run up under my mother. Right. At yeah, all. At all. <laughs> um, so look, and also when I say run up under your mother, it's a little bit more of a respectful way of me saying that instead of go suck your mother. So you know what I'm saying? Run up under your mother means you can't survive on your own and you got to run to your mom and say, Mommy, protect oh. me. Hold oh, me. I'm gosh. so scared. Yeah. So you got to run up under your mother. Can you show me that again? I just, yeah, I think so I missed it. Run okay. up under your mother. On your mother. mother. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah. Just had to... Okay. Run that back. Focus. Okay. Focus. All right. Focus, kid. Okay. So um, I'm a journalist. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a lot of us were uh, actually a little bit surprised when you decided to do Love and Hip Hop. Uh, period. Uh, we thought, mm -hmm. if anything, you do Love and Hip Hop New York. So, what was the decision to do? What made you say yes to it? Well, how long had they been after you? That's number one. That's a good question. You know, the opportunity is it, it's been there. It's always been there okay. since you know the beginning of the time, but. When, you know, I first started my whole solo journey, I didn't want to jump into it all ripping just, all right, boom, yeah, this is my goal, this is my aspiration to do right. this. But then, you know, in two years started going by, and I'm like, you know what, I want to use this as a platform and as a tool to promote myself and my Absolutely. brand and just to get things going. Yep. And I did it. And for those, like, out there who watch Love & Hip Hop and think it's ratchet or it's ignorant, yeah, it may be, but what you do with it is, is what makes you. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, I'm not on it. I don't need to fight and act like a crazy raging lunatic right. for people to gravitate to, to me. And right. my first season on it, I didn't do none of that. And then you at didn't. the end of the season, I was one of the cast favorites. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah. I would say that uh, you were the reason why I watched a few times because just your... Do you remember that scene when when y'all were in the park and there was that picnic that was going on with Lyrica's... <laughs> when the parents were fighting. <laughs> yeah, and the yeah, parents yeah. were fighting. You were literally just saying, I hope we got that clip. And you yeah. were literally just sitting there like, oh, well, listen, it's food here. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to stay here. Yeah. And, and y'all just worked that out. Yeah. So yeah. now on to season... Four, what can we expect from Safari season four? You know, season four, you can look forward to, um, I see a lot of memes coming from season four. Okay. I, I just see a very entertaining um, season. Right. Like, it's, it's people going to love it. They say you haven't made it until you became you become a meme. Right. I haven't I haven't made it that far. Wait, no, I think I was a meme once. Were you a meme? Yeah, I think yeah. I was a meme once. So, so you made it then. I, I, a little bit. Okay. A li I feel like it didn't get as many in there. Yeah. I, I just I saw it. I don't know if everybody else saw it. Yeah. So um <laughs> with that level of um success, what what does it feel for you for people to enjoy your character? Does that does that give you the check like, oh okay, I made the right decision by doing it? Yeah, it, it definitely helped everything I was doing because the funny thing about it was I thought people knew me right before that, mm -hmm. but then it's like after that show aired, yeah. just as far as how different it was for me walking through airports and going outside and just being out in the public, right. it made me realize, yo, you wasn't shit before this. Mm. People really ain't know you the way you thought you did, uh -huh. so you better humble yourself, you stupid ass nigga, and get to work. Bleep. And and this wasn't your first stint with uh, reality TV. You were actually on K. K Michelle. Michelle's show. Yeah. Is it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, K. Michelle, that was the first one I did. Shout out to K. Michelle, too. Because, What's up, K? Hey. You know, and uh, Bad Energy featuring K. Michelle. That's on iTunes and Spotify also. That's my song with her. Um, so she was definitely the first person to give me that platform and say, yo, you know what I'm saying? Come on, I want you to come on my show. So, you know, shout out to her and Mona Scott Young. Absolutely. Yeah, so, speaking of this upcoming season, I got to mm -hmm. know, are there going to be some love interests for Safari this round? And you know, everybody's been asking me that. Everyone's like, yo, who you dating? Who you bringing on? And, you know, with me, it's just a very, it's just always very tricky with me because I just hate being used. I hate blowing people up. And then it's like, what do I get re in return other than that? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, I'm being very sketchy about it. But 
you just got to tune in and see if anybody will be rubbing me down with coconut oil. <laughs> I know, oil. right? And, and anybody just, like Miss Nikki Baby? Right, what's, I know. Is she what's, what's popping with that? Shout out Miss Nikki Baby. She's definitely in there, you know. Um, okay. She's been filming also, so it, it's going to be entertaining. It's going to be fun to watch. Hi, Rose is still playing this, um, this, this, this. Rosa, I haven't seen Rosa, so I don't, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I haven't seen Rosa. It's a bad sign. You know, <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> Where's she at? Right. So where's she at? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen her. Okay. What's going on with the music, sir? So right now, um, I got my new song called Paradise mm-hmm. featuring Sean Kingston. Yep. I'm pushing that. Shout out to Sean Kingston. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's being played all over the airways, like all the top stations in Jamaica and the islands. They got it. Shout out DJ Self, DJ Will Power 105. They out here supporting it. Um, and I'm just focusing on that right now. And I'm that's going to be the lead single towards my project should have been Did It. And I'm about to go to Jamaica, shoot the video with Sean, and it's going to be a movie. That's what's up. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, that's going to be some dope visuals on that, yeah, too. Yeah, the visual for that. Because Jamaica. Is, yeah. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of ass somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be, you know. <laughs> and a lot of melanin. Definitely. And a lot of <laughs> I like shiny the brown skin. It's going to be a lot of melanin. A lot of shiny. Yep. 2017 is not over yet, and we know that you are working on a lot of things. Is there anything that you can share with the Hello Beautiful I, audience about no, it's an, ex- an exclusive or something, something? Well, to the Hello Beautiful audience, I don't know why. Like I've always wanted to be on like a billboard in Times Square, and I, I just feel like this is going to be the year that it's going to happen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like this, I just really feel like that. Like, I, I just was locked away for a few weeks just working on, like, a project, and it's I, it's going to be a, I think it's going to be one of the biggest things. When it drops, it's going to be one of the biggest things in a long time yeah. That's that people have seen, and I'm, I'm so excited for that to drop. And mm. that would be really awesome, too, because you are a native New Yorker, right? So yeah. Times Square is, like, the exactly. holy grail That's of things. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know I'm going to have to have it videotaped. Because I know we're probably walking to Times Square. I'll probably break down, be on the floor on my knees, like, oh, God, yes, thank you. Yeah. And I got to, you know, I just can't wait for that moment because I feel like it's going to happen. Manifest that thing. Go you ahead. have to. Yes. Uh, the first time we met was actually at the reunion for season three, um, mm-hmm. which was a very special uh, reunion. That was your first reunion. That was my first um, one. Going in, what did you expect? And, and after, how did you feel? Going in, I just really had absolutely no idea. I just knew it was going to be a long, long day. That yes. day was so long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it just, it, it, it's exactly what it looks like on TV. Mm-hmm. Except there were some crazy things that happened that they didn't use when they aired it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. Remember, were yeah. you there at the end? Yes. All right, there's some stuff that happened at the end. I'm I was like, can like, I get the tea? <laughs> Y'all can't just be talking around there me. Just, there just was a certain person who was walking past someone, and they ran up the steps, and they was going to use their one after. I was. All right, they, I yo, and oh. security and everybody ran on, and I thought they're definitely going to use that. To yeah. Pull people in to watch it, mm-hmm. and they didn't use it. So, you know, it's not all about fighting and right. being ignorant. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. just entertainment, people. Don't take it so personal. Mm. That's good to know. Anything you want to leave? Um, we wanted to really make sure that we uh, we pumped up who who Safari Samuels really is, mm-hmm. from producing to rapping to your projects, and and um, this is your platform. When's this dropping? Up. This drops on Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday. Well, on Tuesday. Um, boom. Yeah, that's the Tuesday before my birthday. My birthday is July fourth. Uh-huh. So anybody who wants to buy me gifts and send me gifts, I'm going to put a P.O. box at the end of this message and, you you know, you can do whatever you like. But now, on a serious tip, you know, I'm just pushing my music right now and myself as a brand. Like, I feel like I'm a walking billboard because for me to get the response that I get from people without, like, sometimes it's, I be feeling like, yo, do I have a number one song on the radio that I don't know about when, you know, people be tattooing my name on them and oh my stuff God. like that. So it's a great feeling and I just yeah. feel like, to come from where I've come from, and now I'm doing this on my own. Mm-hmm. When everyone counted me out and thought it was just was a rap, yep. I would just like to tell all of them to go run up under your mother and your two bad mind. That's why I'm still here. Let me make sure you see my eyes when I say that too. You see me. Hm. You heard it here first. <laughs> also, listen, usually I don't do stuff like this, but I was trying to be on time and I needed to get a haircut and all of that, so. That's why I'm covered up like this. But I'm gonna let you just see how scruffy I am. See, that's that's not that's not real scruffy. Uh, 
um, scruff your right you now, can you can I'm keep okay. it off. Yeah. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> we appreciate you guys. <laughs> Ray Holiday signing out. Kiara, thank Bye. you for being here. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you, I appreciate Harley, it. Harley, appreciate you. Yeah. I'm out here. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna take this off camera now. <laughs>